10 days worth of subs. Oh my God, I nearly dropped it. My protein pill box. Boom. Don't knock it till you try it. <laughs> yep, you guys see the title and you guys know the state I've been in lately. I stopped taking my vitamins, I stopped taking my glucosamine, I stopped taking my fish oil, I stopped taking the things that I say not to rely on and don't take as gospel. But now I'm in bits. If this video gets 120 likes, I will do a vitamin, my protein supplement bundle giveaway. Let's get started. <laughs> a little niggles but hey who the hell doesn't right this video is purely to advertise my protein products and did I mention I have a discount code there's a text message right there you can use the code LSJ at checkout and save yourself money more than likely on top of what is already a sale I'm not a doctor I'm not an expert but I have stopped taking them for 30 days and I have noticed a bit of difference so we do have a little bit of a story to tell however know that I'm fine and it's no biggie but it's a good video title, isn't it? So stick with me. the question we need to ask is would I have these problems would I have this strap on my elbow right now would I have hold on this strap on my knee right now if I hadn't stopped taking the vitamins that ladies and gentlemen I do not know you can pick up an injury at any point in time but when was the last time I had two things at once had a little bit of wrist trouble before here and there you know but nothing too major right nothing that actually stopped me from training but what you do have to bear in mind is that all of these things have come from my first sessions back. So it's not necessarily because of the vitamins, right? If you take a week off and go back straight in there with the same weight, same intensity, you could tweak something. And that is more than likely what I did. So is it down to not taking the vitamins? Not necessarily. However, it is a bit of a coincidence that I stopped taking them and these niggles kind of appeared, you know? But like I say, it is just a coincidence. There is absolutely no proof of that in any way, shape or form. I don't have any studies, just my own personal experience and feelings. I'm not a doctor. It is weird though, isn't it? Like, let's be honest, if I stop taking them for 30 days and within that 30 day period, I pick up two extra niggles, but then one of them disappeared. I had a wrist niggle and that's kind of gone. At the end of the day, I'm still training, but I'm not training to the intensity that I would like to be training, if that makes any sense whatsoever. I'm like, I'm training today, but I'm not like, yeah, yeah, let's, let's go, you know? Like, I'm just kind of going with the flow, getting the pump on. Basically the goal of the sessions for me right now, within this kind of week while these, these settle down, because it, it will go away, just not straight away. It's just kind of flared up and stuff. You know, I'm just taking the precautions and kind of working around it rather than stopping training completely. Um, that would be another option, but I did that in the first place. That's why I got the freaking nickels.
need vitamins and by need vitamins I mean need them like can you make games without them kind of need like if you don't take one of these zinc and magnesium pills per day are you going to build zero muscle no that's that's not how it works of course for some people in some situations very rare like I say I'm not a doctor or an expert but for some people you may need to supplement a certain vitamin prescribed by a doctor this much per day or whatever nine times out of ten that is not going to be the case for most people right but what was I taking and what am I now missing out on? You guys saw this at the start of the video, they are all stored in here, except for fish oils, which I'll be restocking in the monthly My Protein video coming very, very soon, or it might already be out. I don't know, it depends what my protein tell me to do first. Anyway, so of course we have zinc and magnesium. This was originally just zinc, but zinc and magnesium was actually on sale a couple months back uh, and haven't really had much chance to use it. So, you know, I'm I'm gonna start taking them again after this video, just, just so you know. But we also have vitamin C plus one of these per day and I think you get 90 days worth, 60 days worth in here. And I think it's like six or seven pounds, so a couple of pounds a month. Um, for that. On top of that we have D3. Next up we got the thing that I feel personally I have missed the most myself, um, glucosamine. I began to really, I grow really really fond of this product. Um, glucosamine sulfate, you can also get glucosamine HCL. Uh, I was advised to actually take the sulfate because there's more research behind it apparently. Haven't personally looked into that myself but um, people that I trust have told me to um, to, to take this over the hydrochloride, to take the sulfate over. Anyway, I take glucosamine sulfate. Next up and last up, of course, excluding the fish oils, which we will add back in in just a minute, an A to Z multivitamin. Now, I've mentioned all of these before, right? All of the D3s, all of the zinc and magnesium and all this stuff. Before you go with any of that, what I would always go for myself is an A to Z multivitamin. Not necessarily, not necessarily this specific product, but a multivitamin. My personal top three favorite supplements, just overall, including vitamins, including protein, everything like that, is a protein. Everybody needs a good solid protein that they are happy to have every single day if need be, right? To supplement, not rely on every single day, but to supplement. Something that is tasty, that you enjoy, that is gonna have relatively good macros for what you need for your goals, right? That's number one for me. Number two, a pre-workout. Not gonna be at the top of everybody else's list, but personally at the top of mine. You see the shelf behind me? I like my pre's. I like having my choices of different flavors. Oh, I fancy some green apple today. Oh, I fancy some cola flavor today. You know, I enjoy the process of taking pre-workout. I like doming it, I like mixing it up, I like getting in the zone whilst I'm drinking it, right? It's part of my routine, it's something I really love. And of course you can get increased power, increased endurance, strength, blah, 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 all that jazz. You guys know about that, right? But it's not necessarily going to be at the top of everybody's list. It's not at the top of my old man's list, that's for sure. It's probably right down the bottom of his. But for me, and a lot of you guys watching this, it's probably right up there. So on top of the protein and the pre-workout, number three for me would always be a multivitamin because you can just get across the board. You can get a lot of what you actually need from a multivitamin if you get the right one. Inside this we have vitamin A, vitamin D, E, K, C. We've got a bunch of other stuff, B12, B6 in here and all this kind of stuff as well. Before you go in and buy a freaking box full of every single vitamin, I would get your diet, your nutrition and your training in check, right? So regardless of whether you think my injuries came from the freaking having the, the, the vitamins or not having the vitamins, before you go spending all of your hard earned cash on these vitamins, get everything else in check first. Having said that, I think it kind of goes without saying that vitamins can have a massive benefit. They can have a benefit on your skin, your hair, your eye health, your bone health, all kinds of benefits that you can get just from these teeny little things, right? It's science, it's mad, it's crazy. It's not necessary, it's not 100% you need these to make gains, but can they help you? Yes, of course they can. Anyone that denies that is just bit daft. But the same with any supplement video that I make, you have to bear in mind a couple of things. You have to bear in mind your budget, what goes at the top of that list, that list of three. They would be my three prioritized things, the things that I buy first. Before I buy anything else, those three things, I keep looking up here like this. <laughs> these three, they would be what I buy first. As much as I love glucosamine, as much as I love fish oils and stuff like that, I would personally, for myself, put a multivitamin above all of that. Now, it is important for yourself, never mind me, it is important for yourself that you kind of designate, not designate is the wrong word, that you kind of design your own list. You delegate your top three. You, you, 
Decide on your top three, right? And then you can kind of budget from there. What are you willing to kind of splash your cash on? What do you need? What do you not need, but you just quite fancy trying? The things that I personally have missed over this past like 30 days um, has definitely been the fish oils and the glucosamine. I know neither of those are in my top three. However, those things are known for their joint health kind of purposes. And the things that I have had little niggles on have been my knee and my elbow, um, obviously both joints. So, <sighs> I'm really, really trying hard. I'm really trying my hardest not to blame not taking the vitamins, but I have trained really hard after coming back from time off. It's harder than I should have, really. Intensity, volume, just, you know, I, I did a little bit too much in multiple sessions, and I think that has resulted in it, um, in the kind of niggles. They are settling down now, however, I am going to start taking everything that you've seen in today's video um, again, just and then maybe do another follow up video taking vitamins for 30 days or whatever. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below what you would like to see next. But I hope you have enjoyed this. Oh, one more thing. Bear in mind, there are other things I have in my bedside um, table, little drawer. I have five HTP in there. I very rarely take it. Um, I did do like a kind of 30 day test um, and let me know whether you would like to see that video. Obviously that helps with sleep, releasing melatonin, all this kind of stuff. So that would be a bit more specific, but I didn't even really bother to include this because th these like are more daily things, whereas I don't take that daily. So. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and let me know if you have any questions. Like I say, I'm not an expert, but I may be able to help, potentially. I don't know, you're probably better off Googling it, but we shall see. Let me know in the comments down below. If you have enjoyed this one, drop it a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. Thank you so much for your support. Do not forget MyProtein have a massive, the biggest sale that they have ever had on right now. In this moment, they have a 65% off sale with 37% off if you use the code LSJ. They have a 30% code on the site. They try and trick you with that. You can get an extra 7% if you use my personal unique discount code LSJ at checkout. This is the biggest sale my protein have ever done in their entire existence. The biggest, right? So if you're still here, you're an OG. I love you. I appreciate you. Be sure to send over your orders and I will enter you into the monthly giveaway. Thank you so much for your support. Together, we will grow. And I will see you all tomorrow in the next video.